Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we'll be reviewing Loyal Subject Sue from My Hero Academia, Mike Sullivich from Monsters, Inc., the Dollar Tree figure line, and a Pink Ranger plush from my Goodwill Outlet Toy Haul, which you did see a while back. If you haven't, check that video out. And now we're going to look at Loyal Subject Sue's box. We got some nice word coloring of My Hero Academia, ages 14 plus. The other figures like Asuku Midoriya, Bakugo, Todoroki, um, the son of Blue and Genium's kid, I can't remember his name, Loyal Subjects, Udaraka, Sue, or Asui, All Might, and these are all the figures in Loyal Subjects, and a golden figure of Asuka Midoriya, and that's all there is to say for the packaging. And we're going to look, before we look at the figure itself, we're going to look at the collector's card. And here it has all the figures that are advertised on the box. Which is pretty cool. I do love these figures. They're cute, and I love My Hero Academia that much. And we got a nice product shot of, of Asui. And her bio, if you wish to read it. Her quirk is frog. That's all there is to say for the collector's card. We're, and we got a nice display base. Sorry if I have to correct myself. Of the UA High School. From My Hero Academia. And a nice word coloring of My Hero Academia. The sentence from the anime. And it does tip over quite a bit. Probably going to display this with my Odoraka figure. But now we're going to look at Sue herself and her posability. Come on, you. Stay, stay standing. And her arms are pretty posable. They can go out that far. Which is pretty cool. They do a full rotation. And that's nice about these figures. I love it. Head is on a swivel. Well, not much of a swivel. It's not even on a ball joint. But the, you get a full waist rotation. Sorry if I have to correct myself again. And the face is really well painted and the legs are painted really good. Even though the joints inside the legs are really good. Except they're a bit tight, which is a worry to me. But otherwise, they're pretty good. And she looks pretty cool. And now we're going to look at a comparison. We're going to look at a comparison to Sue with her fellow classmate, Udaraka. And I only have the McFarlane one to compare her to. And they look okay together, if I do say so myself. I'll probably display them on the display base together. At least till I get the Loyal Subjects Udaraka. And then I'll have my McFarlane one with the helmet on. And now we're going to move on to the other figure from Dollar Tree. And it's a nice figure of Mike Sullivage from Monsters, Inc. This figure does not have any posability... It's mainly meant for display purposes. But otherwise, really well painted, really well sculpted, if I do say so myself. And now we're going to look at the Pink Ranger plush, which is pretty cute. The, the fabric is really well, really well crafted, and the head is really well painted. I love it. 
And before I end this video, I can't help but do this reference. Go, go, Power Rangers. Do, 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 do. Go, go, Power Rangers. You mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And yes, I love to have fun with figures on this channel. That's what I'm all about on this channel. Having fun and enjoying my craft of figure reviews. And you're probably wondering, where did I get Loyal Subject Sue from? Well, I got this from Amazon for 11 bucks. Is she worth adding to your My Hero Academia collection? I'd say yes. And trying to pick up the other figures, too, because they're really nice. And Mike Sullivan will make a good display piece in my collection. If you love Disney, pick him up from Dollar Tree. He's only a buck. That ain't bad for a figure. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.